sometimes something happens to the person we're speaking about, and we use a reflexive pronoun to show this. This video will teach you five important facts about using reflexive pronouns in English. Reflexive pronouns are words like myself, such as I hurt myself, or yourself, look after yourself, or herself. For example, she finished the work herself. And the first thing to know about reflexive pronouns is that when the subject and object are the same, we use a reflexive pronoun as the object. For example, I is the subject. I is the one who hurt something, but the thing that was hurt was me. So I become the object as well. And here, in the object position, we use the reflexive pronoun myself. I hurt. Myself, in other words, me. Secondly, sometimes we use reflexive pronouns to emphasise the subject. So, look at the example: I myself wrote the letter. Now, myself is not necessary grammatically, but by adding myself after I, I am making it even clearer. Or for whatever reason, I am emphasising the fact that I did it. Perhaps because it was a surprise. Who wrote the letter? I wrote it. I myself. Really, it was me. So it brings emphasis to the subject. Thirdly, the reflexive pronoun is added to make the object clear. Compare the following. So, in the first sentence, "Before I went to work, I washed." Now, here we don't add an object because we don't have to. It's fairly clear to the listener that "I washed" is something to do with me. In the second example, "Before I went to work, I washed the dishes." But in the third one, we have both the dishes and me, so we need a reflexive pronoun to make it clear when I am washing myself, me, and when I am washing the dishes. So we'd write it like this: Before I went to work, first I washed the dishes, and then I washed myself. So here we have to use myself to make it clear. What we or who we are washing? Because if we said first I washed the dishes and then I washed, then we're not really sure who、uh, or what the washing is happening to. So we need to add myself. We need to add the reflexive pronoun here because the context doesn't make it clear who or what is being washed. Fourthly, sometimes we add by before the reflexive pronoun, and this is to make it clear the person is doing something alone. So look at the example. I finished the work by myself. That means I was alone in doing it. I was the only one, and no one else helped me. So by can make that meaning clear. And fifthly, it's also important to note we don't always use reflexive pronouns just because the object is the same as the subject. Have a look at the. Next two points.、Um, if the context is clear, sometimes we do not add the object at all, and we've already looked at this. Before I went to work, I washed. I don't have to say I washed myself because the context is clear. But compare with the second example here. I hurt myself. Now, why in this case do we have the reflexive pronoun? Well, here we really need to know who. Is being spoken about. If we just said "I hurt," then we're not clear whether I hurt someone else or whether a part of my body is hurting. So we need the reflexive pronoun here to make it clear this is an action that happened to me. So, if the context is clear, we don't always have to add it, and if the context is not clear, then we should add it. And secondly, many routine activities use get instead. For example, I got readied, not I readied myself, or I got dressed, not 
I dressed myself. Now, in old English, sometimes reflexive pronouns were used in this way, but it's not so common anymore. So remember, reflexive pronouns can be used when the subject is the same as the object, particularly to provide emphasis or to add context, but they're not always used.